guys, it's Barbie Figueroa with Personal Branding for Profit and welcome to this week's training video. Today we're going to talk about how to create a survey using a Weber, which is your autoresponder, and how to generate a very hot lead at the same time. Now, why would you want to do this, okay? Well, have you ever you know, felt like you had to be like this mind reader, uh, not knowing exactly what your prospect wants or needs, and you just don't know how to get more detailed information from them? Well, here's how you do it. You have to ask them. And this is something that I didn't really do for a really long time. I was kind of guessing what people wanted. I wasn't really quite sure. Or even worse, I had no way to automate this question asking process. And people would send me an email and I would have to, you know, basically answer the questions over and over and over and over again until the light bulb finally went off in my head and I realized, hey, I'm getting these questions a lot. People don't know what kind of, you know, blog they should purchase from me. They don't know which package they th they they should get uh, based on what, you know, their their budget was or whatever. So I kept on getting these questions a lot and I was like, you know, I really need to automate this this little thing in my business because it will free me from having to repeat myself over and over and over again. So if you haven't taken my five day online marketing boot camp yet, you really should because around day four of my five day marketing boot camp, I share with you how you can start automating a lot of your business using tools just like AWeber, which is your autoresponder, to streamline a lot of these little things in your business that take up a lot of your time. If you give your prospect or your client an opportunity to, you know, f to, to, to uh, fill out this information on their own, then you'll spend a lot less time repeating yourself or even worse, you know, answering questions from people that will really never do anything. I really love to set my business up in a way where people can just go and fill out their information, submit their, their email, submit their questions or whatever, and then I get back to them. Um, when I'm ready, right? So this is a really great way to do that and streamline this process in your business. So right now, if you are finding that you are answering a lot of the questions, um, a, a, a lot of the same questions, um, but you need this information to move to the next step with your lead or your customer, uh, I highly recommend that you really take note of this training today because I'm going to show you how to streamline this little thing in your business and it could be something different for you. Perhaps if you're a personal fitness trainer, let's say for example, if you're in the health and wellness industry, maybe you need to collect information like uh, how much a person weighs or what their physical uh, fitness ability is or whatever it is. Maybe you need to collect that information so that you can recommend a certain product to them. Or maybe if you're in network marketing and you're looking to find new partners, maybe you need to know what, where's this person's mindset to begin with, what kind of income they're trying to create, what kind of, uh, you know, time they have to dedicate to the business, things like that. These are things that if you collect the information up front and then generate that lead at the same time, you position yourself to be able to collect a hotter lead that you can then market and communicate to in the future by collecting this information up front through your AWeber. Now, if you're a little more experienced, you may say, well, you know, why don't I just use SurveyMonkey? Sur you know, something like Survey SurveyMonkey, I can't get it out. <laughs> and SurveyMonkey is really good and it, it definitely serves its purpose, but I like using a Weber to generate a lead that I need more information from simply because now I can segment that lead uh, and kind of like separate them from the crowd. Whereas before they were just part of my list. If I ask questions, very specific questions and collect them as a lead on the, at the same time, then I automatically segment them into a different list on my a Weber autoresponder. And now, based on the information they give me, I can determine if they're warm, if they're cold, if they're hot, and then I can customize my marketing 
to speak to that person, especially if I know they're at the brink of making a commitment. Let's you see what I'm saying. So this is really, really valuable and you should start implementing this into your business right away. So let's break away from this uh, PowerPoint or this keynote actually. And let me show you exactly how I do this in my own business and how you can create a quick form in a Weber so that you can start collecting this information that will allow you to determine whether your leads are cold, warm or hot. All right, so before I teach you exactly how to do this and create this form and put it on your website, I want to show you how I use it on my website first. If you go to my website, you'll see that you have several blogs to choose from. I've got the $25 viral blogging system. We've got a pro WordPress blog. We've got the six figure blog for our top network marketers and we have small business blogs for our small business owners. But maybe you don't know where you, which one you should get okay so what i've done is i created a recommend a blog page where i collect this information from you just in case you don't know exactly what you want after going to my website and reading up on your options for blogging okay so let's say you just after reading the three different types of blogs or four different types of blogs that we offer you have no idea still which one's the right one for you you can simply go to my website Enter your name, your email, and fill out all this information, okay, which is created like a survey, all right? So basically, I'm asking you questions that are going to help me determine what option is best for you based on your needs, desires, and wants for your business, okay? This is a way that I help understand my potential client better. Now, looking at how I do this on my website, how can you do this in your business? How can you do this in your business? Okay, this is really something that is super valuable to you. Let's say for example, you're a personal fitness trainer and you've got people constantly emailing you questions. And well, I'm this, what do you recommend? Or I'm in this situation, what do you think I should do? And you find yourself answering a lot of emails. Guys, if you haven't taken my five day free marketing bootcamp, you really need to because I believe it's on day four or day five. I talked to you about this extensively, how to start using tools to automate these little things that keep coming up in your business. And this is really valuable to you because this is going to help you free a lot of your time while you understand your customer and your lead better and then segment them and, and distinguish them between a, a cold, a warm and a hotter lead. Okay. So let's say you're a personal fitness trainer and you get a lot of these same questions. You can fill, you can create a survey using a Weber that asks different questions. Well, how active are you? How much do you weigh? What are your goals? This and the other. And by doing that, you can gather way, way, way more tailored custom information to make a better recommendation based on your customer's needs, wants, and desires, okay? So now that you know how I do this in just one part of my business, see, I don't even have to be here. Someone can go to my website and check out this information and fill it out on their own while I'm at the beach, while I'm with my family, while I'm working out, I'm not here. And they're filling out this information and then when I get home, I see a new lead has hit my autoresponder through my recommend a blog and now I know, okay, let me see what the information they gave me is so that I can recommend a blog to them, all right? Okay, guys, this is a super duper bonus. I'm gonna actually show you how to do this, okay? So let's go to a Weber, and uh, I'm gonna show you the form that I created. Okay, so as you can see, I'm here at the blog recommendation form. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this link so you can see how I did this. So obviously you need Aweber in order to do this. So if you haven't signed up for Aweber yet, go ahead at the bottom of this blog post, you'll find a link a link where you can sign up for Aweber, okay? So you can go ahead and do that. Now, all these fields are nothing more than questions that I've created through Aweber to collect their information. So let's just say, I want to create a new field and I want to ask them, you know, let's see, uh, how 
experienced are you with blogging? Okay, actually don't put a question mark because it won't let you, okay? So I'm gonna click save, and now AWeber is gonna ask me, do you want it to be text input? Do you want it to be a select box? Do you want it to be a radio button, a checkbox, or a text area? Well, I want it to be like um, uh, like a multiple choice. Not a multiple choice, but like a drop down. Like I, I create the choices, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I want it to be a select box. So I enter a, a new choice. So I'm gonna enter here. Very experienced. have no idea what I'm doing, total newbie. Um, somewhere in between. Okay, now, when this person fills out this information, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let's see if I can scroll over here. It's not allowing me. So I'm gonna move my window just a little bit so you can see, okay, that you're gonna save this form. Boom, you're gonna hit save, okay? And now it became part of my form, all right? So now, if I were to save this, which I'm not, but if I save this, okay, then they will be able to fill this out on my form, okay? So have no idea what I'm doing, total newbie, somewhere in between. This information allows me to understand where this person's at, where their mindset's at, what kind of blog is best for them. If they say they have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, total freaking newbie, and based on the other questions, you know, if their budget is only, you know, 200 bucks and and they don't really know what they're doing and that, then I'm going to recommend the $25 a month blog because it comes with the training already and they're just looking to get started. Now if I've got a person who's already making six figures and they want to uh, expand their brand and they answer different questions on my survey then I'm going to recommend that they go with a six figure blog. You see how Having this already created can help you help your customer better and it generates a lead, okay? So let me go ahead and uh, I'll come back and unsave this, but I just wanna show you how to put this on your website. Okay, so I'm gonna go to step two and you're obviously, you're going to name this, you're gonna name the form and then you can create a thank you page, it just stops or, you can go ahead and uh, send them to a different page. Now, I'm not gonna go through the whole entire detailed process of exactly step-by-step -step how to do this. You could always learn how to do this once you uh, decide that you wanna maybe coach with me um, and and help you, you know, uh, I'll help you do this stuff. Uh, once you purchase one of my packages, I'll, I'll work more closely with you. But this is just to give you the uh, a more uh, basic idea of how you can start doing this if you have a little bit more tech knowledge, okay? So now you go ahead and click on, I will install my form. And all you're gonna do is gonna create this little, you're gonna grab this little JavaScript and you're gonna go to your blog. Okay, so to install this form, all we're gonna do is go to your website, to your WordPress blog, and add a new page. Okay, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put, you know, test, recommend, blog, all right? Uh, please fill out the form below. Let me make sure that it's there. Okay, it disappeared. So let me go ahead and click paste. Okay. You're not going to see the JavaScript. For some reason, it disappears when uh, you, you just don't see it. You don't. You, let me go ahead and do this. Wait. Make sure you're on the text and click publish. And let's go to view page. And there you have it. There is your, fo there is your form. You see my questions right here? Okay, now once this person hits recommend a blog, boom, they are now on a segmented and different list than the main group of people that were on my list. Okay, so how's that? How can you start doing this in your own business? Pretty cool, right? 
All right, so I really hope that you got value from that little training session. This is something you should start implementing right away. I would be creating a page inside your blog like yesterday and insert this form into your uh, w uh, blog and start collecting the information that you need to really help your customer or your lead better, serve them better, get the information. The more you know about the person you're about to work with or the person that you're trying to help, the way better it's gonna be for both of you. And if you can streamline the process and automate the process, much, much better. I can have people fill out these forms while I'm out at the beach, while I'm out with my family, while I'm, we're at the movies, while we're on vacation. I don't have to be there to physically take their information. Using your autoresponder to collect information, to create a survey using your AWeber um, just helps you automate this part of your business way, way easier. And it helps you determine whether you've got a cold lead, a warm lead, or a very hot lead that you wanna to take to the next level. All right, so I really hope that you enjoyed this training. If you are not a member of our VIP list, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Get a new tip, blog post, or video tutorial to help you build your online business straight to your inbox every single week. And I also post them on my fan page on Facebook. So if you're not a fan already, make sure that you go ahead and like our Facebook fan page. You can find the links below this video. You can also find some share buttons. You can go ahead and if you enjoyed this and if this helped you, if gave you an aha moment, or if you're like, oh my God, that's such a great idea. I'm gonna implement that in my business today. You know, go ahead and leave your comments in the section below. Click the Facebook like button, share it on Google Plus, share it with your friends, and make sure that you like us on our Facebook and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, spell this correctly. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much for watching this personal for personal branding for profit weekly training video. This has been Barbie Figueroa, and I really hope to be a part of your online marketing success. I'm signing off. This has been Barbie Figueroa with personalbrandingforprofit.com. I will see you on the next training video. Thanks a lot.